Today I will be showing you how to work with steel conduit, how to cut, thread and bend steel conduit to precise measurements. And these are your basic tools you will require when working with steel conduit. One, first of all, your hacksaw to cut the steel conduit. That's your bending machine. We will use that to bend conduit as we require. Now this is a 20 millimeter stocking die. We use this to cut threads on steel conduit. Now while cutting your threads, it's important that you use a little bit of cutting paste. It acts, or it basically helps with cutting and also lubricating the threads so that we do not damage the, the die on the inside. Once you cut your threads, this tool is called a reamer. It is used to deburr all the rough edges on the inside of the conduit so that we do not damage our cables when we pull our cables in. Now I'm going to show you how to thread steel conduit. Now place it in the wires, lift it up likewise. Have it as close as possible to the wires so that it does not jump around. Secure it so that the pipe does not turn. You then start off with making one thread. Place it square to the conduit, force forward and turn less to start with. Now, once you've got one thread on, you take this off. You now need to apply a little bit of cutting paste. We are doing about 15 millimeters of thread on the conduit, so don't plaster the whole thing. Just a little bit of cutting paste. Three turns and back. Three turns and back. Now once you've got about two threads sticking outside your dial here, that is ready for your coupler to be threaded on. We've got sufficient thread for roughly half a coupler, if to be precise about 15 millimeters of thread. We now need to deburr the inside because we have rough edges on the inside. We need to smoothen them out. We go to and fro with that, back and forth. Now that should give you a nice smooth finish on the inside so that we do not damage our cables. We can now get your, your coupler on there nice, nicely. There we go. And our next step, I'm going to show you how to bend the conduit to a precise measurement. The wall of this steel trunking is our target. So we measure from that end till here, which is 700 millimeters. We measure 700. So we get our 700 mark. 700 millimeters. Now that, that is the point or the distance from there. So this end, so we want to do a right angle and the conduit reaching there precisely. Placing the pipe in the bending machine, the pipe goes in through under the stopper, you lift the handle up, place that in. We are now looking at the 700 mark which we made earlier on. Now to get your, your bend precisely to 700, all we do is we place a the same size pipe so that we just about see the line. Now I'm going to show you how to bend it to a proper 90 degree. Now bending this pipe at 700, you, you place or rather you force down just a bit from here and also your force should be downwards so that you don't pull the machine towards yourself. Okay, yes. Now, to release the conduit, all you do is lift this handle up, just give this a slight tap, likewise, and then you release the conduit and pull it out from this side. Here comes the moment of truth. We are now, we've bent our conduit to 90 degrees. 
And we're going to see from the edge of this table till the wall of that conduit that we've achieved are 700 millimeters. There's your target, precisely 700.